In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool Apple messaging animation. I've been getting a lot of these cool Apple animations in my algorithm lately, so I wanted to do this myself. It got me so excited that I even created a UI pack worth over $200, which you can download by joining the Social Creator Club Pro. Link to join is in the description. You will also get the project file of this tutorial, but if you just want to follow along, let's jump into it. So we're here in After Effects and we're just going to create a new composition. 4k 25 frames per second duration 15 seconds is actually perfect press ok and i'm gonna go to layer new solid and i'm just gonna create a white solid and maybe i'm gonna make it a bit more off-white so there's a bit of texture and contrast in it press ok and now we're gonna make our first chat bubble and to do this i'm just gonna go into the rounded rectangle tool and you do this by clicking on the rectangle tool and changing that to rounded rectangle tool you just click and hold your mouse down make sure nothing is selected by clicking on the background here and then i'm just gonna drag this shape something like this perfect and then let's change the fill by clicking on the text fill and i'm gonna choose linear graded press ok then let's click on the fill and let's change this color to a bluish color, something like this. I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna go to the second one. I'm gonna paste it. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the B for brightness and just dial it down a bit. Uh, just so there's a bit of contrast between it, uh, not too much, but maybe something like this, press okay. And then I'm just gonna go to the selection tool so we can change this gradient. If we zoom in, you can see it better. The gradient is now really harsh. I just want to have it so there's a bit of a, a fade in it. And this doesn't have to be crazy, but just a bit. It will add a bit of texture to this. You can also do a single color, but I think this will look a bit better. Let's do it something like this. It's really subtle, but I think it works. And now I'm gonna change the roundness, which you can see here in the properties tab. Now, if you don't see this, you might have to open your shape layer and the rectangle and then into the rectangle path and then you have the roundness too. It's now set to 20 here and I want it to be around 100, maybe a bit less, but basically something like this, perfect. Now we already did one part, but of course it needs the right tab in the bottom to be a real message. I don't really know what the name of this is, but we are gonna create this. And the easiest way to do this is to just go and right click on the rectangle path and convert it to a bezier path. This will turn it into a normal path and now we can adjust it. This means that we can also add a little tab at the right bottom. And we do that by just going to the pen tool and then I'm just gonna add a point on this line. So make sure that you have the line selected. The line is a bit hard to see. You can actually change the label color of this, for example, to red, and then we should be able to see it or maybe orange. Still a bit hard, but you can see it maybe a bit better. Anyway, I'm gonna adjust it a bit. So I'm gonna add a point here and add a point around here. And I'm gonna drag this out just like this. I'm gonna align it with the bottom line of the chat, something like this. And then these handles, we are gonna adjust a bit. So basically I want it to be something like this. And then I'm also gonna change this handle by holding Alt. If you now drag this, you will only adjust one handle, basically a bit more rounded. Same with this one. Let's move this and let's move this point a bit while holding Shift. This actually already looks really, really good. Maybe it's not perfect. Maybe we can move it a bit, but we can perfectionize it later on. I can see that I didn't align it well. There we go. So now we have our first text box. And the cool thing is for the other ones, we can literally just copy this over and move it, change the size of it a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this down by just selecting it and moving it. I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting Command D or Control D on Windows. And then I'm gonna move it to this side. And now we can right click it, we can hit transfer and we can hit flip horizontal. This will just flip it. It'll just move the chat box to the other side. Now for the other color, I'm just gonna change the fill to a solid and I'm gonna change the fill color to like a really light gray, something like this, press okay. And I'm gonna add my first text. So let's go to the text tool. And you might wonder what is the Apple font? Well, you can use San Francisco. This font is also an Apple website. You can find it everywhere. Uh, so we're also gonna use that. I'm just gonna click and drag and I'm gonna paste the text here. Let's change the line height to auto. Let's also align this to the left. And then let's change the font weight to regular. I actually really like how this looks like we might be able to get it on one sentence. You know what, let's try that so I can also show how to do that. So we're just gonna drag this out till it fits on one sentence. I'm gonna go to the selection tool. I'm gonna move it a bit so it's around here. 
we can move it a bit later on. And now we want, of course, to adjust this chat box because it doesn't fit, right? So select the chat box, open it, go into the contents and go into the rectangle and make sure that you have the path selected. So these points will come up. You can also double click on your shape to open this up. And now we can adjust it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the bottom part and I'm just gonna move this up by holding shift and then the arrow key up so we can move this. Make sure that basically it doesn't go over the other point. So if it's too high, you will see it will intersect and we don't want that. We just need to make sure that these are basically aligned properly. Probably something like this. Let's move the text already a bit and then we just have to adjust the right side. As you can see, <laughs> it's not long enough. So again, just select the path, select these right elements and then just hold shift and right arrow. Let's just make sure there's enough room around it. Perfect, really, really nice. Now here comes the fun part, let's animate it. So before we go to the other chat box, let's just animate this right and the animation i want to do is basically quite simple i'm gonna parent this to the shape layer so if i animate this then it will animate with it i'm gonna go to the pen behind tool to move the anchor point you might see this anchor point here this is basically the point where it scales from so if we now scale it it will scale from this point that you can see here you might have to look around a bit where it is but you will find it trust me and then you have the anchor point and if you hold command on mac or control on windows it will snap into place we want it in the left bottom corner and why that is it's quite simple if you now scale it you will see it scales from the bottom left it's exactly what we want now to scale it we just press s on the keyboard while selecting the shape i'm gonna set a keyframe and i'm gonna drag this out probably to like one hour second then I'm gonna set it to zero. So it will just scale up and that's it. Now select these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease or hit F9. Then we can go to the graph editor. And basically what I want, I want it to be really smooth. So I'm gonna select these last two points and I'm gonna drag this out. So it's as smooth as possible. If we now preview this, it will already look super clean in my opinion. We can even select the left one and make that a bit more quick and then drag this out a bit. Then of course we need to enable motion blur by clicking on the motion blur icon in the layers panel. And we do the same with the text. So we already have a really nice animation in my opinion, but we can also animate the text if we want. And to do that, I'm gonna open up the text and I'm gonna hit the animate button and I'm gonna press position and then i'm gonna add a property opacity then i'm gonna move the position just a bit down maybe something like this and i'm gonna set the opacity to zero then i'm gonna open the range selector i'm gonna open the advanced tab. i'm gonna change the shape to ramp up and i'm gonna ease the low and then i'm gonna keyframe the offset so click on the stopwatch next to offset set it to 100 and let's go to the beginning here and then let's set it to minus 100 and this will just have a really clean animation as you can see let's play this quickly i think this looks so dope right we can even if you want drag this out a bit so the text comes in a bit later that's really cool and now we can of course duplicate this text by hitting command d or control d on windows collapse this other text and i'm gonna move it below it just so we know that this one is belonging to the other one and we're of course also going to parent that to the other one just to make sure that if we are going to scale this one that everything will scale with it now let's go to the selection tool i'm going to drag this to the other text box and we just have to change the fill to white and i'm also going to change this text i'm going to change this text into it's simple bro just join the social creative club pro and I'm gonna move this a bit. And of course we also have to align this. Unfortunately, this text box is also not perfect. So <laughs> let's select it. And like I said, you can also select it a double click and then just make sure you select one of these points so we can select the bottom and then we can move this up and maybe something like this. And then the left part also select that. And then let's move that up too. And just make sure there's like nice space around it. We don't want it to be too cramped. And what we're also gonna do is I'm gonna select this layer and I'm gonna go to the pen behind tool and move the anchor point again, hold command or control and make that snap into place. Now we can even copy this scale animation or what we can do is just press S for scale and set a keyframe and just do it again. We want to offset it a bit anyway. So if this one is set, then we want to have this one probably start around here, set it to zero. And again, select these keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard or right click keyframe assistant easy ease. And then let's select these keyframes and like the other one, basically I want to ramp it in maybe a bit more, just something like that. So it's nice and smooth. Of course, motion blur turned on. And then also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the graph editor 
press U on our keyboard and let's move these over. Basically, when you press U, you show all the keyframes and this looks super, super nice. Now, I might want to move this a bit, so I'm just gonna hold Shift and hit the up key to move this. That's really nice. And now to finalize it, I also want a cool camera movement. So I'm gonna go to Layer, New, Null Object. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link these shapes. So both the shape layer one and shape layer two to the null. We can ignore the text because the text is already linked to the shape layer. Now the shape layer is linked to the null, which means that if we move this null, everything will move with it. That's exactly what we want. I'm gonna press P for position, set a keyframe, and I'm gonna move this. It basically moves everything upright, exactly like this. And again, we can uh, select these keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, and let's smooth this a bit. It doesn't have to be too much. I just want to have some movement, just like that. That's really nice. Now, as you can see, it's quite boring after this. It's just stationary. Now we can move it again, uh, for example, uh, here when this pops up, so like, just like that, or maybe move this a bit. Or what we can also do is go to layer, new, adjustment layer, and we can add a wiggle position on this. You just search it in the effects and presets, search for wiggle, and you just double click on wiggle position. It will add a wiggle to this adjustment layer, which will wiggle everything under it. I just make sure the solid, the white solid is just a bit bigger. Uh, so we don't see the black borders. We can just drag this out. And what's cool is we can adjust these settings a bit, right? So uh, maybe the wiggles per second, you want that to be a bit slow. So maybe 0.5 at uh, the wiggle amount, you can increase or decrease. If we're quickly gonna change the quality to quarter, we can quickly see what this will look like. Uh, it will just add a bit of movement. It's almost like a camera shake, which is really nice. And then you get something like this. And of course you can fill anything in this text message that you want. I think it's such a simple, but also a cool animation that you can use with client projects. And speaking about client projects, if you want to get more client projects, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. I get tons of potential clients that I throw in there that you can just apply on, but you can also learn how to go to one to 5K a month as an editor within 90 days. Don't forget to comment what you want to see next. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Then thanks for all the support like always. And see you next time. Bye.